Even more data can be associated with a text pattern article besides categories and keywords and so on using custom fields. And as the name implies, um, the fields are customized per site depending on the needs of the site. Um, so let's take a look at a few of the sites I've built that use custom fields. Um, this is the right page on the Web Designer's Review of Books, which you can see right here. And um, on the left hand side here is all the custom fields and there is a number of options and these mostly relate to the book I'm reviewing. So the subtitle for the book, the author or authors, publisher, all the necessary information, the video if there is one associated with it. Another site that uses custom fields is the academic journal Mediations. Um, here you can see one of the articles. It has a nicely formatted issue date, uh, article type, the author of the article. Um, if it's a book review, we also have some related information about the book, a custom sort order, etc. Um, if you really want to get fancy, there's a great plugin called GLZ Custom Fields from my Gerhard Lazu. And it's um, not free, but you can use it on multiple sites for a pretty small fee. And it really comes in handy because you can um, sort of pump up your custom fields so they're not just text inputs, but rather they can be checkboxes, date input fields, radio buttons, select boxes, etc. So this site uses custom fields to manage information about um, t-shirt designs, so what styles and sizes they come in. So you can see this is generated with some of the custom field data. So on the client's side or the author's side, um, custom fields are filled out just like any other piece of data associated with the article. On the developer side, they are set up on the preferences pane in the advanced portion. Here you can see all the custom fields that I have set up for this site. Um, and then of course if you install the um, pumped up custom fields plugin, you've got a whole new interface for managing custom fields.